Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. I'm Van. And I'm Joe Shiesty. Joe Shiesty, LFR Jojo. I'm here with LFR Jojo. And y'all see, I got on the McLovin t shirt from McMur um, American Pie. You ever seen American Pie? That's not American Pie, that's Superman. <laughs> Is that super bad? And you know what? I'm glad that you I'm glad that you figured it out because I was trying to trick you. No, you you caught it on. You <laughs> caught on. No, no, no. I was trying to trick you. You caught on to it because you smart. You smart. You caught on to it. It's like, nah. So I'm glad you got that, man. You passed, bro. You passed. Oh, yeah, we about to do some Clayton Bigsby Big from boy. the Chappelle show. And uh we about to have a good time while we check it out. And uh y'all let me know what y'all think. Hey, you never boy. seen um, Chappelle. Well, you've seen Chappelle's show. I'd, nah, be, a, I, I'd I, be a bad father if you never seen Chappelle's I've show. I've seen clips, but for it to be an actual show, I'm surprised they even let that air. Him well, as an artist. Listen, that was that time. He, he, he jumped in right before that line of cancel everything started. He jumped in right before that. Like, God, you know, did his thing and then cancel everything. Started and he was like, I'm out. I'm already rich, bitch. Hey, y'all, I'm in cancel culture. So don't channel y'all anger at me. Because I might cancel this. It's like, nah, I'm just playing. Wow. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just you playing. might cancel me. All right, let's go. Warning. For viewers sensitive <coughs> to issues of race, be advised that the following piece contains gratuitous use of the N-word. And by N-word, I mean nigger. <laughs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> Alright, this video might get this video already canceled off the gate. It might get yellow mark right there. <laughs> hey, if y'all even see this, it might be over. He said it in the whitest the whitest um like tone possible. And by the N word, I mean there. I said it. You know, and I'm like, what? Are you, don't you goddamn say that word. I have a theory. <laughs> I think I think like when black people aren't around. Nah, people ain't saying it. I don't think they say They're it. They're saying it. They not saying it, bro. They're definitely saying it. They not saying it, it, man. Okay. Listen, can we watch the daggone show? You trying to start something with my people. They not saying it. They okay. not saying it, bro. They're not going to say they say it, but... For the last 15 years, a man named Clayton Bigsby has been the leading voice of the white supremacist movement in America. <laughs> Though not sold in any major bookstores, his books Dump Truck, Nigger Stain, I Smell Nigger, and Nigger Book have sold over 600,000 copies combined. Despite his popularity, very few have ever seen him due to his reclusiveness, but in an effort to bring his message to a wider audience, he agreed Why to are you laughing so damn hard, <laughs> What's so funny to you? That is so funny. If you laugh at this, you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> then you goddamn racist. Because you I'm laughing black. your ass off. I don't, I'm black. Man, that don't matter, goddammit. <laughs> Stop laughing at that damn word. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I smell, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're going to get us, y'all going to get us canceled, man. Canceled for what? They don't want to In an effort at to it. bring his message to a wider audience. He agreed to give his first public interview ever to Frontline. But getting to Mr. Bigsby was an odyssey in itself, riddled with backcountry hollers, shifty go-betweens, and palpable danger. Uh, excuse me. Not sure we're in the right place. We're looking for Clayton Bigsby. Well, look no further, fella. You found me. Uh, Clayton Bigsby, the author? What, you don't think I can write them books? Just because I'm blind don't mean I'm dumb. <laughs> How He's black. could this have happened? <laughs> A black white supremacist. <laughs> Wait, I kind of look like him if I put the shades on. <laughs> don't you think I'm blind and can't write them books? The, hey. Uh, the fact that he wrote something like this, man, is so funny. It's... I'm trying my best not to laugh so I can show my people that I'm mature. But this is crazy, man. Okay, let's finish this. How could this have happened? A black white supremacist. God, Our search like for answers led us here to the Wexler Home for the Blind, where Mr. Bigsby spent the first 19 years of his life. Bridget Wexler 
is the home's headmistress. Well, he was the only Negro we'd ever had around here. So we figured we'd make it easier on Clayton by just telling him and all the other blind kids that he was white. And he never questioned. <laughs> black as hell! Oh, I look like him. <laughs> I don't think I should have worn shades today. You look like Clayton Bigsby. God damn no. I swear to goodness. Bro. Hey, y'all let me know if he look like Clayton Bigsby. <laughs> <laughs> is this because like I I was wondering like if other like race people saw him did they just like not care that because he thought he was white or did yes so they don't really hate like black people they just hate the fact that you know you're black well you know he was able to jump the ranks and everything and be a part of the movement so oh god this is something okay this all right let's go let's play He's this way and he never questioned it. Why would he? You've written four books now. I've written six books. They published four. What would you say is the overall message of your books? Sir, my message is simple. Naggers, Jews, homosexuals, Mexicans, Arabs, and all kinds of different chanks stink. And I hate it. I noticed you referred to uh, African Americans. Mm -hmm. What exactly is your problem? How much time you got, buddy? Where would I start? Well, first of all, they're lazy, good for nothing tricksters, crack smoking swindlers, <laughs> big butt having, wide nose breathing all the white man's air. <laughs> they up all. All right. Come on, <laughs> bro. Oh, my God. <coughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. How is this still on YouTube, man? This should not be on YouTube. This should not be on YouTube. Wait, who's going to report it, though? Somebody. I'm going to report them. God damn it. Heaven. Wide nose breathing all the white man's air. They eat up all the chicken. They think they're the best dancers. And they stink. Did I mention that before? Yes, I believe you did, sir. Matter of fact, my friend Jasper told me one of them coons came by his house to pick his sister up for a date. He said, look here, nigger. That there's my girl. Anyone has sex with my sister, it's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> you never left this property, have you, Mr. Bixby? No, sir, not in many years. What if I were to tell you that you are an African-American? Sir, listen, I'm going to make this clear. I'm in no way, shape, or form involved in any negatum. <laughs> yes, sir, but... Uh, but, but no. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. He said negatum. Bro, I'm not going to cap. I'm not going to cap. Black people probably have the most potential when it comes to like the racist comments <laughs> oh about each gracious. other. Oh my god! Oh, I'm sorry, man. I was listen, listen. How do you even come up with this? Like, if you sit down and write this out, that's so funny. <coughs> I can't, I can't take it, man. I'm about to dang one die, man. You said negatum. What the hell is negatum? Okay, I need to stop saying that. <clears throat> I need to take that out of the video. God, what the hell? You understand? Know yes, sir, but, uh, but... But nothing. Mr. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a book signing to go to. Why don't you bring your media cameras over there if you want to see some real truth? Prudence! Prudence, have Jasper load the truck. And Clayton Bixby, black-white supremacist, ventured out into an unsuspecting world. Sir, you're a friend. Why not tell him he's African-American? Listen, man, it's too important to the movement. But tell him he's black, he'd probably kill himself. Just to be one less nigger around. His commitment is that deep. I'm overwhelmed by the irony. Hey, donkey boy. Uh-oh. What you lost, boy? Move on, move on. Come on, boy. We don't like your kind around here. You better get out of here for some bad <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> tell that nigger. <laughs> Come on, Clay. We, 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 gotta, we gotta go. Oh, thanks for this nigger around here. That dirty monkey was beating my hood. What the? <laughs> Five power. 
<laughs> the confusion That's a good way to get out of situations. <laughs> you can't take it. <laughs> you can't take it. <laughs> okay, all right. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, all right. Oh, Lord. This is Lager. Lager. The confusion did not end there. Hey, why don't you jungle buddy turn that music down? Neighbors might play sick. Look at Boogie, nigger. Look at Boogie. Did he just call us niggers? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. That. That's, <laughs> that's terrible. And they so excited about it. Like, <laughs> we made it. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the final boss. A black person calling you the N word. It's like the final. Oh like, my God, the man. The last Come on. level of blackness. This joint should not be on YouTube right now. My my face is hurting right now. Okay, let's go. The anticipation was at a fever pitch as we arrived at Mr. Bigsby's book signing. This is the man who should be the next president of the United States. Yes. All right, Jays, for time to show these people what white power is all about. You better put your hood on, Clayton. All right. Might want to might want to hide your identity, be safer. You know, in case some radical and sympathetic of the cause wants to shoot you. That's yeah, good thinking. All right. Who made us proud to be white? Oh, yeah. None other than Clayton Bigsby. That's it. Yeah. Mainly Negris, America's at war with Al Qaeda, but we're still losing the war against Al Sharpton. <laughs> <laughs> the Asian community was a target as well. Let's talk about Chinese people with their kung fu and all that silly chang chang chong talk. I can't understand you. Go back to your country, white power. Yeah. White power. Mr. Big B was also white critical power. of the entertainment industry. Don't let the liberal media tell you how to think and feel. If you have hate in your heart, let it out. Well, why not? Why not almost done with that? That don't mean there's something wrong with you. Why not do with that? There's something wrong with well. What you do? It was an accident. It was actually I almost nodded. <coughs> you agree with that? If you got hate in your heart, you might as well let it out. I was like, yeah, he's been white power. <laughs> nah, 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 yeah, you might as well say it. Go and say white power because you agree with him. Mike Will and Grace, that don't mean there's something wrong with you. It means there's something wrong with well. He's homosexual. Yeah. <laughs> How much weren't spared either. White power. Colin pal. Conalingus rice. Conalingus rice. They call her Conalingus. Con really? That's disrespectful, bro. <laughs> That's disrespect. That's disrespectful, bro. You don't call her. You know her name? I don't even know who you're talking about. Her name is Condalisa Rice. Who's that? Condalisa, and she is. Oh man, I ain't gonna get into this. He called her Conalingus, and you need to Google Conalingus if you don't know what that means. Oh, Lord. I'm not about to get into this. Conalingus rice. Conalingus rice sounds like a Mexican dish. Maybe we should put her on a plate and send her to Mexico so the Mexicans will eat her. Right. Oh, Just open up your heart and let that hate out. Yeah. 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 Show us your face. We want to see your face. Yeah. Who said that? You want to see my face? Clayton, go on, brother. Do you want to see my face? There is 
cookie and punch for us to enjoy and we can meet, talk about white brotherhood. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. White power! Mr. Bigsby was not harmed that night, but irreparable damage has been done to his reputation and in many ways the white power movement. We're told that in the last few weeks he has accepted the fact that he is a black man. And three days ago, he filed for divorce from his wife. When we asked why, after 19 years of marriage, he responded, because she's a nigger lover. <laughs> hey. Right? I have no commentary for this. This is crazy, bro. <laughs> this, um, this is nuts. This is hilarious, man, but it's... He responded, because she's a nigger lover. <laughs> I'm Kent Wallace. Good night. Funding for Frontline provided by the Trent Plot Foundation for Peace and Understanding. Loving black people, one at a time. That was funny. That was hilarious. Dave Chappelle is so funny. That was that was hilarious. Go watch our other videos, guys. Uh, follow us on all of our other social medias. Purchase some merch. Make sure y'all are sub to LFR JoJo's channel. No kidding. All right? And check out our playlist. Love y'all. Bye. White power. <laughs>